What's going on everyone? This is Joe Lee. I hope everybody has been having an amazing day or amazing afternoon or amazing evening. Whenever you're watching this, I hope you guys have been doing amazing and doing well. Today I have a little uh, special video for you guys today. I will be reviewing the Sub Pack S2. This is the seated version of the Sub Pack. So let me start off why I actually picked this up. And there's actually two uh, special reasons that I picked it up and I believe it might be similar to the reasons why you might be wanting to pick it up as well. I had this about a year, for a year, but I think it came out like a year or two before and the moment I saw it, it really caught my eye. And the reason being is, you know, I'm living pretty much in a small studio apartment. I don't need so much equipment or big subwoofers or, you know, big 8-inch studio monitor, reference monitors. And I'm always finding ways where I can keep things minimal, keep things simple that doesn't take up too much space. But at the same time, I don't want to sacrifice sound quality, right? And this also goes for a low end, right? So I talked about how in the in the previous videos or one of the previous videos with the iLoud micro monitor review that, you know, these definitely hit the low end and I'm very satisfied. But I'm always looking for a way at nighttime when I want to mix down or double check my reference monitor. This review is actually going to be kind of like a vlog style review from a, a perspective of a, you know, music producer as a mix Sir, as a DJ and also listening to music on my free time as well because I am pretty much an audiophile as well that's what I like to do on my free time I love listening to new music from whatever artists that are coming out or producers or DJs of different genres because I felt like a lot of the reviewers were coming from more of a audiophile more of a you know bass file or gamer like VR AR uh, type of you know background interest in the sub pack and I think that's fantastic I think that's great but I'm gonna come from more of a music producer point of view um, so for all those people who are checking out this video definitely know that that's what I'm going to share with you guys and I'm gonna share all the key points and how it can help you in your mixes when you're mixing, even if you're using your whatever monitors you're using, how you can kind of go between, go back and forth between your monitors and the sub pack as to, to do your mixes and your mixing, your mastering and whatnot. And I'm also going to talk about why this is useful. And also after I talk about, you know, the main points of how it can help you with your production and how it's useful and fun just to use to listen to all your music, um, I'm also going to show you how to set up the I Love Micro Monitors if you're using an audio interface, right? Because I know a lot of producers or sound mixers or DJs are using audio interfaces or sound cards and I felt like a lot of reviewers on YouTube were not showing that. So I'm going to actually show you the step-by-step -step process of how to set it up so it's easy for you uh, to set it up with your audio interface because there is no real instructions on it so I'm gonna show you step by step in the easiest way of how to do it so for the people who bought this recently or planning to buy it I'll show you that it's definitely possible to set up with an audio interface or a sound card and not just with your basic you know laptop jack which is really easy by the way that's really simple I'm not gonna really show you how to do that I think the other videos showed you how to do that but I'm going to show you how to do that step by step okay so is the sub pack s2 is it good for music production and mixing and mastering and the answer for that in my honest opinion is yes and the reason being is i know there ha i've been checking the reviews certain reviews i know the reviews are actually really good but i was watching a certain djs that were kind of critiquing it and i understand where they're coming from um obviously you know, this is more of a, a physical response type of system where you're feeling, you know, the bass like you're actually in a club or whatever. You're feeling it in your body instead of your ears, right? So a lot of uh, critiques were saying or whatever little critiques were is, you know, how do I know the depth or how deep it is or how wide or where is it sitting on the mix right as you know for my, all my mixers as you as you know there's many variables right it's not just about 
you know, the frequency itself, right? It could be the depth, is it sitting on top? Is it sitting more low? Is it sitting more wide? Is it sitting more narrow? Is it sitting deeper in the mix? Or is it sitting more in front? You know, it's a 3D thing, right? A 3D mix. So that was kind of the argument from, you know, like pro DJs and certain mixers. They're saying, you know, I don't think this is going to really help you. It's more of a kind of like a consumer, like experience where you get to feel the bass, which is awesome within itself, by the way, if you're buying or planning to buy because of that, I think it's definitely worth it. To definitely compare your different your different favorite songs because that's what I love to do as well I'm actually talk about that but in my honest opinion though for the mixing stuff I think it really helps I think there's a lot of value there even if you have the greatest you know um, studio reference monitor setup where you have multiple speakers and a subwoofer of course that's gonna be more than enough to get the job done but I really believe especially for the people who don't have that and this goes for me as well. I have just one, you know, studio monitor uh, speaker set up with the iLoud and, you know, late at night as well. I want to kind of cross-reference, you know. And headphones is great too. You know, I'm using a pair of Audio-Technica M50s, which are, which are great. They give me good frequency range, but it's just not enough to really, when I'm mixing with my headphones, it's just not enough because with the Subpack S2, you really are able to feel it, right? You're able to feel how hard certain kick samples, right? Bass samples, certain 808 samples hit. Even when you're going lower on lower octaves on certain types of VSTs, you can feel it as well, right? And it really gives you another reference point of how, especially with, you know, basses and kicks, it really shows you, right? Because if you're using a weak, sample not even just a weak sample if you're using a sample that's sitting more on the top end it's more on the higher frequency you can feel it you'll definitely feel it okay so that's kind of how a more airy type of punchy kick feels using you know the sub pack using a sample that really hits the low end you're really gonna feel it and it feels completely different so obviously you know with your ears, you would hear it with the different reference monitors, right? Or whatever, if you're just using one reference monitor, pair of reference monitors, or headphones, right? You'll definitely hear it. But with this, you can also feel the difference. So that's where you know, for me, it's like another point of reference that really has helped my mixing and also made my production process even more useful as well when I'm actually like making beats or whatnot, making songs. Because I can actually feel the difference, like, oh, okay, Obviously we can hear it. Obviously we have an ear for my beat makers, music producers, my mixers, DJs, whatever. Obviously we have an ear for sounds, right? Sonically. What I can vouch for is with this, you know for sure and you can feel it for sure, the difference, right? Where one sample that's more punchy will sit kind of, it'll feel differently. It'll sit differently when it vibrates and something on the low end or certain 808s that are kind of more on the low end, you can really feel it differently compared to something that has more punch. And that's where it has a lot of value, especially if you're using headphones or if you want to really have another point of reference that really helps a lot. The sub pack really helps, helps with that. And that's where it becomes really practical and useful and it's really been helping me. And I really believe that's like a huge point that's worth it. It's definitely solving a problem for all my like bedroom producers who are using just one reference monitor or who are not in a acoustic treated room with the right dimensions and you don't have multiple reference monitors. Um, this really gives you another layer of accuracy that you can bring to your productions, right? Your mixing or ma mastering and whatnot, especially for the low end. If you listen to all whatever, you know, your reference tracks, that's where you're going to also improve your education and getting used to not only what it sounds like, but what it feels like. So if you play tracks that are professionally mixed with the, from the best audio engineers, professionally mixed and mastered by the best audio engineers, if you use the sub pack to really study your favorite reference tracks, you're going to not only memorize what you hear, but you're also going to memorize and learn how it feels, right? The different kicks, how they're mixed, and whatnot, you're going to feel that and you're gonna start like memorizing and learning how to do that, right? To really memorize how your favorite reference tracks work. And you're going to actually apply that to your own tracks and that's where the sub pack 
really helps with the mixing as well. Um, there's a lot of value. So within that self, for all my music producers, sound mixers, or DJs, or whatnot, definitely that's a huge point. Going into this, the next point is pretty much, uh, is it worth it for the price point? Before I hop into the price point itself, is, is it worth the investment or not? I want to talk about from a consumer point of view as well. This is even better especially, you know, this goes for everybody. You know, if you're a video editor and you want to get, you know, extra sensation, you want to feel the music as you edit, or for my gamers who want that, that virtual, that really, to really be a part of the environment that gives another layer of element of realism, it doesn't matter. The huge point here is the value and entertainment it brings in itself when you're listening to music. For all my music producers who are looking for kind of like an extra point or a second point that are planning to invest in this or whatever purchase this is it's incredible like when you're listening to music and it's not just with your headphones you can use this with your monitors I know in the instruction manual it says it's not perfectly accurate I mean honestly if you're just listening to your favorite artists or whatever producers or DJs it doesn't matter like whatever delay they say they're saying I can't really hear it <laughs> honestly so anyways we're, you're listening to enjoy so you can use your headphones you can use your monitors with these the extra layer of realism that it brings to listening to music just casually and for fun you know I spend hours just doing that where I'll start whatever new songs that came out or old songs I want to listen to. It always gives you this element of surprise and excitement of, okay, oh man, I didn't hear that song through the sub pack or man, I didn't hear the new song that got released. Let me put it through the sub pack to see how it feels. It really adds an extra layer of excitement and realism and then you start realizing, oh man, the engineer or mixer or master Mastering, mastering engineer really didn't really put much in the low end you know they really focused on the high end here which is which is cool you know it, it's like you're training and enjoying at the same time you're educating yourself and enjoying yourself at the same time you'll be surprised as well on the other side of the spectrum you you'll put it through and you're like dang like the low end is kicking like oh man it's booming especially for people who are into EDM or hip hop, but it's freaking amazing feeling it through here. It's like, and I'm actually going to give you kind of like a vlog, bird's eye point of view, bird's eye view of the sub pack in action. You're gonna hear it vibrate in my chair using my camera. I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can hear how it's hitting and how it's vibrating. This is real. And I'm not putting it at the max setting as well. So this thing is an awesome experience. This is not a weak item. It definitely hits hard in my opinion. It's definitely worth the price. You're getting a lot of value uh, from the points I was talking about. And if you guys are planning to purchase, definitely you guys are in luck because I purchased mine over a year ago and it, the price was at the maximum price. I, it was over four or $500. I bought it when it first came out. I just wanted to get it. I really needed it for my situation for both you know, production, mixing, mixing, mastering, having that extra layer of referencing the low end and then also just for just consumer experience, right? As an audiophile, listening to my favorite artists and DJs and whatnot. Um, but I paid the full price of 500 for 500 dollars and I actually double checked on Amazon and they dropped it to 300 Definitely you guys are actually in luck because the price dropped and you guys are lucky because you're getting a much lower price than what I purchased for uh, I did get it from Amazon. Amazon Prime is awesome I've ordered and I'm actually going to share the link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing so I save you the time I purchased through the same link that I'm posting in the description box below, fast shipping, I was able to get it and I don't, I don't know even how long. It wasn't that long. It was within a week, it was super fast. Everything came in shape, no problems at all. No problems, it came packaged nicely and yeah. So what you're going to get is this box as you can see behind me. You're gonna get this big black box. It kind of looks like a PlayStation box for you know my gamers 
or whatnot. It's gonna look like this, okay? It's not too huge, but it's gonna be packed nicely. It's this cool black. You're going to get a little handle so you can carry it around. So it's almost like you have your own suitcase for your sub pack. Inside the package, you're going to get these contents. Of course, you're gonna get two manuals or you should get one owner's manual. I think, I don't know why I have two. Maybe you'll get two, I don't know. But anyways, you'll get an owner's manual. And you're gonna get another cool point about the sub pack is they in they include a bunch of different AC power supply plugs. So for my travelers like me, as you know, I am living in Seoul, South Korea. So they hooked me up with the AC power supply that they use in Korea. It, I believe it's the same as Germany. Of course, they have the US and you know all the different other ones. Okay, so that's a little cool thing that they add for extra value. That makes it worth it for my travelers so you can kind of when you set up and you travel and you want to do some music or just listen in your hotel room and yeah you can bring it it's very easy to transport and you have this to set it up i'm actually going to uh change the camera view so you can get a close-up view of this and i'm going to show you the other contents the wires and how to set it up next with also how to set up with the audio interface for my people who have audio interfaces and are wondering how do I set it up you know how do, is it even possible to set it up with an actual audio interface instead of just hooking up straight into your laptop jack alright guys so here it is here is the sub pack it's pretty stationary I just hook it up on the chair you're gonna get four hooks here these little velcro straps really easy you just clip it on you kind of just throw it around and you just set it up on your chair. It's really easy, you get one, two, three, four, so you get maximum security here. Pretty safe and sturdy. So here is the actual power supply. This is the other thing that you're going to get, and you're going to actually get two cables included. Um, you're going to get, of course, the DC power supply right here. This is really simple. All you gotta do is put it on this side, on the left side, just plug that in. And then you're also going to get the line this line in okay so this is going to actually go into your laptop jack but it, for my audio interface users I'm actually going to show you how to plug it in into your audio interface as well but this will go into the other side will go into the laptop jack and this side will go into the line in all right so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna change to the view in a sec and then of course you have your headphone port right here okay so you're going to get your headphones as I told you I'm using audio technica you're going to put it in you can use any type of headphones pretty much and you just plug it in right here so that's it just three plugs in and you're going to get this intensity knob um, I put it at three-fourths um, I don't want to put it to the maximum because it's just too rumbling It's just booming way too much the low end hits on the sub pack at about five Hertz I believe so it definitely goes all the way so all the sine waves or any huge hard-hitting 808 bases This is going to pick up all of it. So that's a huge point right all the way to five Hertz That's that's even lower than a actual subwoofer as well Here's the power plug, you're gonna turn it on, you're gonna get your light signal here, okay? Um, for clip, where to clip this, I usually just clip it on the side for my people who are wondering, you know, oh, where do I put the, the actual power supply or and the volume control? I just plug it in on the side right here. Okay, so I just plug it on the strap on the side. So it's easy, I can easily, I don't even have to look at it, I can just feel it and just click it and turn it on. I'm gonna change the camera angle now and go to my audio interface and show you how to hook it up with an audio interface. So here is my audio interface. So for my people who are planning to, you know, buy the sub pack and use it with the audio interface or whatever sound card you have, it's actually pretty straightforward. I actually took me some time to experiment because there's different like line cables and whatnot. So remember I told you on the last, the last uh, last view the last clip you're gonna plug in the line in cable here, right? And From the other side you're going to get this so in the box. It's going to look like this Right, this is uh, I believe an 8 inch Cable that's gonna go in but the problem is what well, audio interface though is there's no way that it's gonna go in Right, so you need to get one of these adapters that turns it into a quarter inch and you can order this anywhere It's very simple mine came with 
my uh, actual headphones. But you can order this from like eBay or Amazon for like nothing, like one, two dollars, three, five dollars max. So it's really simple. All you're going to do is just plug it on though, and that's it. And then voila, there you go. Everything's set up. You have the, the DC power in, the headphones in, and you will get signal, okay? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn my audio interface on. I'm gonna put on a song or a beat or whatever, and I want you guys to really feel, and no, not feel, but actually hear, so you can really feel the power of this, all right? That's it for the review. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was very useful and it was very practical and then you got some value out of it. For all my people who are, you know, interested in getting the sub pack, I actually would not hesitate on getting it. I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's worth the value. Definitely, especially since the price dropped from five, four, five hundred dollars to three hundred now for the sub pack S2. I think it's definitely worth it, especially for all my music producers who want that extra music producers or mixers who want that extra reference but also to also learn from all your reference tracks how the low end feels and all your professional reference tracks as well and then also from a consumer point of view for all my people who just love to listen to music and just curious about how different engineers are switching it up in different genres and you you're curious like man this song sounds amazing sounds dope let me go ahead and put it through the sub pack and I want to feel it. Like, I love that. I love when there's like a new song that I just want to like, man, I wonder how that feels. I can't wait to put it through the sub pack when I get home. And it's amazing. With that in itself is just, just an amazing feeling. It's incredible. It's definitely, definitely extraordinary. And I'm definitely loving it. Those are the big points though. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help you guys out you know I've had this for about over a year now so I know the ins and outs of how it works and let me know if you have any questions any technical things any detailed things I'll be glad to help you guys out I definitely know everything about it and is there anything else um, oh yeah another thing is if you do plan to get this make sure to not turn the intensity knob uh, too loud I recommend about 75% uh, especially if you're doing music production where it has a good good balance between feeling the right crossover of the low end without going overboard if that makes any sense okay because you don't want it to be too exaggerated like you saw in the previous clip of I, I wanted to show you guys how it vibrated but when you turn up the intensity too loud it's really gonna right <laughs> it's gonna be all over the place and it's gonna be too much of course you're gonna have your own taste of your balance point or your crossover point but I recommend not doing too much of course if you're just listening for fun from a, just a consumer or as an audiophile or as a fan or just enjoying it it doesn't matter crank it up turn it up right turn it, it doesn't matter right that in that point so be it, whatever you wanna do, as low or as high as you want it, you're just gonna enjoy it. Enjoy the experience, because it's definitely an experience. That's what Subpack is giving you. I think that's the solution they're giving with people, is those multiple points, is you know definitely you know being able to cross-reference, having another way to really realistically cross-reference how the bass feels. The second point is um, just really, really enjoying, giving that experience of feeling the music and actually being immersed and giving like another element of realism. I'm actually planning to, I saw another product, and this is kind of digressing, it's called the Baselet, uh, B-A-S-S-L-E-T. I might be reviewing that as well from, you know, uh, from a music producer point of view, or a beat maker point of view, a mixer point of view. Um, I might get my hands on that, I've been looking at that. I'm wondering how that works. 
I'm thinking this is probably much better because you're feeling it in your body because when you go into a concert or a club, when, you, when you're standing near those big ass, those big ass speakers, right, with the big woofers, you feel it in your body, right? You feel it in your, in your, your chest and your lungs, it's like, whatever it is, EDM, hip hop, whatever it is, right, pop, whatever. So guys, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to the video if you haven't. I'm always grateful for that. And yeah, guys, you know, keep on doing, keep on moving, and keep on grooving to what you love doing. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.